3775. I'm going to do another golf cart conversion for a friend. And it's almost the 4th of July, and he needs his cart for the 4th of July parade and everything in his community. So he, let's take a look at his cart. It's a 36-volt cart, which there are millions of these things around. He's kept it in really good shape. However, he was ready for lithium. So we're going to remove the Trojan batteries. We're going to put a single lithium battery from Temgo. They contacted me and said, would you try our battery in your golf cart? And I said, sure, let's do it. But I didn't have a 36-volt cart. My friend has a cart right here. He brought it. And we're going to get this thing turned around. And so let's do a little unboxing. So pretty straightforward. We're replacing six lead-acid batteries with a lithium battery, which I, this is something I didn't think they were going to include, which is very nice, the DC to DC converter. When you have a single battery with 48 volts, you've got all these 12 volt accessories, lighting, any other things that are 12 volt on there, and you need to be able to convert from 48 to 12 volts. So they provided that, and it looks like a decent converter. So instructions, let's take a look at the battery. Oh, unboxing. There we go. So we've really enjoyed having a lithium battery in our golf carts. It makes a world of difference in performance, charge times. Oh, they gave so many accessories. This is very nice. Oh, and they gave him a nice charger. I didn't know I was getting that either. Thank you, Tim Go. That's a super nice lithium charger, but we're gonna be charging these on solar, but it's nice to have a backup. What's in this box? They keep giving us stuff. All right, so these are all the conduction. Conde okay, so one of the ways, because the frames of golf carts are all different, they are providing some straps to um, just basically strap the battery in. We'll see if we can mount it, but they have provide some straps. They're also providing a communication cord to a screen, I believe. Let me see, voila. So there's a nice LED screen. We got to mount somewhere appropriate, convenient that will connect directly to, looks like an XLR connector to the battery. So we'll be able to see his state of charge, performance of the battery, and that's it. I did not realize all of this was gonna come in this one box. So we have the battery, we have a really nice charger, we have a DC to DC converter, we've got an LED screen, we've got ways to bolt this thing down. So we gotta get to work. Off, let's get the lead out of here and the lithium in. All right, out with the Trojans and in with the Temgo. We actually measured the bottom of the battery and said, wait a minute, it will fit in the same space as the standard lead acid battery, which is probably what they designed it to. So thank you, Temgo. Um, we just had to take out some tabs here that are used to anchor the lead acid battery. So it fits beautifully and we're gonna use their straps that they provide. Why not? There are no mounting tabs, so this is their, obviously their preferred method. We've been very impressed with the Temgo golf cart battery replacement system. I'll go ahead, Elijah, open that up. So the battery is in, and we've added a few things. We haven't put the DC to DC converter in yet. That's still to be added, but that's, I think the, Chris is gonna do that. And then uh, I like that they included the monitoring system and you can see not only the state of charge and voltage and everything, but you get to see um, cycles right down to the 12 cells and see how they're all balanced out. So it's pretty cool, pretty cool system. And the other nice thing about this, what we've been doing, as you know, with our golf carts is making them solar powered. And so Chris has some funky things under. He's been playing around with this for quite a long time, having fun with his golf cart. He's added a different type of solar charge controller than what we have been using. And he's got, I don't know what else he's got up here, but uh, just all sorts of accessories. So he wired his a little bit differently. He's using the standard charging port with his solar. So to add on, they do include a DC to DC uh, converter. And that's been installed now. 
And so all, any accessories that you need, like lighting, work great. So it's very nice that Temgo has included not only the battery, because that's what you get from a lot of companies, they include the battery, the monitoring, the DC to DC converter, and a really nice charger. All right, I know it took a while for us to get this out, but thanks to Temgo for a really cool product and reasonable as well. I think it was like $700, and that's a lot cheaper than replacing with lead and a lot better performance. It'll charge pretty fast. And they also included a charger, which I couldn't believe they included an actual charger for the, the golf cart that's easy to hook up. And But with solar, he probably won't use it but still nice to have. All right, this is Engineer 775 signing out from Golf Cart Land. We had to take a little break because it was hot and convert a golf cart. We're gonna take this thing outside and see how it performs now. Take her for a spin. So, I mean, we're literally under an hour doing the change out and uh, he's ready for the 4th of July parade in his community, so. Uh, man, if he pulls a wheelie, well, Elijah's going to hold it down. He can't pull a wheelie now. Oh, my goodness. They're off. There it goes. Solar powered with a Temgo battery system. And that worked really well. So he's going to go have fun with his cart. We charging? Yep. 7.4. 7.4 yeah. yeah. amps going in? Yeah. Nice. And you can see that on the 300 top right. watts. Top right, we got seven amps of current going in off of the solar panel. That's awesome. So there you have it, a self-contained golf cart with its own power source and a lithium battery. Oh, he's having some, oh, he's gonna crash it. Oh my goodness. <laughs> Easy there. I guess the Temgo works. All right. All right. I think that's uh, proof that that works. And I think the power to weight ratio has been vastly improved. How much does that battery weigh? It feels like seven pounds, maybe. It's less than that. Well, yeah, it's probably like 50 pounds yeah. compared to all those lead batteries. So here we go again. Another happy customer with a solarized lithium upgraded 36 volt battery golf cart. There's a lot of 36 volt golf carts out there that could be brought back to life and we just did it today all right chris go have fun i'll do it okay everybody i wanted to give a big shout out to scott hunt and his son for helping out put a new lithium battery in this cart of mine so let's do a quick little show off of what that is of course i got my fans running but uh, this is a Temco lithium battery, 36 volt for 36 volt cart. So got my speed controller and motor back here. And I have a little uh, 36 to 12 volt converter there for some accessories. Got a little space here for some other things. Probably gonna put a little inverter there, but that's what that looks like. So up here on the screen, Turn my little fan off for noise. There we go. We can see what's going on with it. Now, right now, it should be just sitting in standby. That 90% state of charge. No current being pulled out of it. We'll go ahead and see what other little features we can turn on and off. With this display screen, and it is touch. So I can hit that guy. And it'll tell me what each one of those 12 cells in this that Tempo battery do. So what I'm gonna do is put some solar on it. So I'll just go ahead and transfer over my solar panel on this cart. And we're gonna get about five amps, four amps coming out off the sun. So we got that charger, charge controller set specifically for that coming off the panel. But that's what we're gonna keep this battery topped off at all times with that. So I'm gonna go ahead and turn that off. And just leave it in standby. I'm gonna run the battery down a little bit and then charge it back up. But that's a nice little display wired through here. Had it mounted up here, but it was in the way of my screen. So make some changes. Uh, the 12 volt converter that comes with it. 
I just ran to a fan. There's my little fan. Really nice to have when you're parked. And actually wired it with a little car lighter, cigarette lighter after there. So that's about it. Just pretty simple. Here's the solar. Got a 415 bifacial up here. And that's all my little different charge controllers for experimenting. Actually got a 12 volt and a 36 volt. That's the one doing the cart in this battery. And up here, it's a 12 volt that I've got a little transfer switch. Make sure these devices don't run at the same time off the panel. People ask how that happened. Got a little branch connector there. So come back here in the back. I took the old batteries out, got them parked in the shed here, but put two of them in series together for 12 volt. It's been phenomenal to equalize them, put new water in them, and then I can just leave them floated off the solar panel. Or actually right now, I've got a little 12 volt inverter in here coming off these batteries. I'm actually staying ahead of it. So I'm actually charging and discharging less than charging. So that's what that looks like. But pretty good little configuration. So based on the price, I think this is a really nice upgrade for a existing cart. Maybe this one's got some age on it and it had lead acid in it. Scott and his son had to do a little bit of engineering down here to get it to fit, but that wasn't that big a deal. We just got the straps put on there just to keep it from rocking and rolling. So that's about it on the Timco battery. So it's really a fast little cart. Yeah, this cart's got some age on it, but of course it's been electrically modified, but that's what she looks like. Thanks a lot, guys. All right, if you need any help installing, designing, need some components, let me know. This is Engineer 775 signing out.